Hello everyone, so today we'll be learning about the important components under the labor law, which mainly deals in terms of what is law analysis. We'll understand what is industrial revolution versus protest. We'll also try to understand what is police state versus welfare state. So in labor law, these are the important components to be understood. Like as a beginner, when you're studying about labor law, try to understand first what is law, why law it is important. Then we'll try to shift our understanding towards industrial revolution then we'll see the understanding the concept between what is this police state versus this welfare state so guys if you observe very carefully you know now what is law law can be defined in different interpretation like it's a very subjective concept right the way on how i define law may not be the same way on how you try to define for example law can basically be for upliftment of justice that was what some people say some people tell that so is a law is basically a tool for transforming the society. That is also some people view. Now, other people also claim that law is a transformative weapon for bringing uh, justice towards people. So the interpretation is different. But one small understanding, if I want to tell you what is law, it is basically, you know, it is a very important regulation mechanism for functioning of a society. This is my definition. My own ways have written it. But if you observe, you know, most of the countries when the government way the government is the same way the laws in a country be like if you observe very carefully in a country the structure of how a government has been the same way the laws also in a country will be in that particular form if a government is in so and so manner then it will also be showing so and so reflection in the laws also so a law can also be influenced by three important components one it could be an uh, economical way it can imp uh, affect even political manner, even technological wise, law plays an important role. Economical wise, many of these economical decisions, political decisions, technological decisions, still law has played a very important role. So what we're trying to tell is that law is an amalgamation of all these important elements, which plays a very fundamental role in a society. So now if you understand this first concept, let's see what is the difference, what is the importance of industrial revolution. See guys, industrial revolution means, if I just tell in a very simplified manner, it's a mechanism of activating laws. Now, mechanism of activating laws means, or like if you just tell what is industrialization in a very simple manner. Industrialization means the way first we were all uh, manufacturing everything in the man-made, like in handmade. Then we shifted in terms of technology. So it's a mechanism of activities of labor, which is transforming. It's called as uh, industrial, industrial role. Very simple. If you want, you can write it down. It's called as mechanism of activation of labor first we had this working force culture later it is basically been upgraded into technological ways like later on we used to make like these clothes and all with the help of stitching but then what did we do we shifted we shifted into what we shifted in terms of simple understanding what did we shift into technology base so now when the industrial revolution started there was huge amount of you huge amount of protest the protest was because of obviously job opportunity like 10 people's work when it was done by one particular what do we call one particular machine that much amount of employment is gone so it affected large people so that there was huge amount of protest so whenever you study industrial revolution learn its protest also second thing exploitation of this low wages so even as an employer they used to make the employees to get only less wages second issue third thing was about government government support also was not that much kind of effective at that particular point of time if you observe now industrial revolution if you observe i'm just speaking before independence so that time government was not intervening in anything so here people wanted government to intervene and bring up regulation as such it can stabilize the market structure market you know market functioning so that's the reason you know industrial revolution and the protest why it was the reason it was introduced you got a clarity regarding it now, if you understand what is this police state versus welfare state. Now, before, if you observe in a country also, we had this police state. That means that as a government, we used to collect tax. This money is only used if I'm collecting tax. Remember, I'm telling that, okay, in case if only you get some kind of harm of if there is any kind of external aggression towards you, then I'll come and protect you. So entire money I'm collecting, I'm utilizing only for defense. That is called police state. Now, that police state cannot always work very effectively. No. Okay. People don't want such kind of government. Later, police state started changing into welfare state. That means that the government started collecting money and that same money was used for different purpose. One is for infrastructure. One is for other mechanisms. 
for the welfare of the people, not least just for defense. So the shift from police state to the welfare state, if you understand, these are the very important components as an important essence of labor law you're supposed to understand. As we try to deal it, we'll go very depth. Don't worry. This is a small introduction. So that's all. Wishing you all the best. Good luck. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat. And stay tuned here. Yeah, if you have any doubts, please be free to ask. Okay, in the comment box.